Hi, Tracy's Kitchen and Appalachian Adventures. I'm going to talk to you today things, illegal things that illegals do. Now, first of all, what does that mean, illegals? It means no documentation. There's no documentation of birth. There's no documentation of marriage. There's no documentation of death. Well, there may be documentation of death if they're illegal, but if they're illegal into this country, there's no documentation of birth. There's no doc if they get married to so and so. There's no documentation of that. Okay, um, if they you know if they marry so and so, there's no documentation of that unless they marry an American citizen. If if um, there's there may be documentation of death because I guess you know particularly if the police involved, there has there has to be documentation of death. Okay, but there's no documentation of a previous life. The child, the kids, the teenagers have no transcripts to give the schools. They don't even know where they are. They may be 19 years old and on the third grade level. There's no documentation. That's what that means, illegal. Not only illegal into the country, but no documentation. Now, some of the crimes, most of these crimes are against the government. And uh, there's not nothing any citizen can do about it. But citizens do talk about it. I mean, if you just talk to people one-on-one -on, -one on the street... You will see, they know about all these crimes that illegals do. They know they talk about them, okay? The government's saying, yeah, we, we may be aware of that, but look, w there's language barriers, so we can't do anything about it. We don't want to be bothered with all the paperwork. And as long as these people, as long as their crime stays under the radar, which means uh, the news media doesn't know anything about it, then I don't think the government cares. Okay, number one, car license. How they get a license without a social security number, I don't know. Uh, I know California has g gives them a driver's license, but how they get a car license without a social security number and all that, I have no idea. But we got to be honest, this is the economy we, we live in. We live in the economy of cheaters and criminals, okay? If, there's, if they get a ticket for a minor traffic accident, they know if they go to traffic court that it's automatic deportation. So they hide the car in the back of the house or in the back of the apartment. Uh, they take the license plate off and they may paint the car. So look, no car, no traffic court, court and no deportation. If there's a serious car accident, they do the same thing. They hide the car at either somebody else's house or they hide the car in the back of the yard somewhere. Or sometimes they demolish the car. So look, no, uh, and they go get another car. So look, no car, no traffic court, no deportation. Okay, number three, number two, I'm sorry, they work under the table. They all, 99% of them, 99.9% .9 of them do that. They work under the table, cash only, no FICA tax, no federal, state, and local taxes. They all do this in construction, which is why the construct people in construction, the contractors hire them. Um, they clean laundromats, restaurants, um, and you know the truth. Maybe maybe you're not going to make it in America if you don't work under the table. I don't know. Okay, uh, they work in dry cleaners. The Koreans hire them. The Koreans may be illegal for all we know, but they they work under the table and they don't care. Okay, they're not going to pay taxes on it. Uh, the illegal women they're usually on welfare. I mean, this is what uh, these think tanks says. 90% 90, 90 of them are on welfare. Okay, I'm talking about 90% of all illegals are on welfare. The women are probably 95%. It's probably much higher than that. This is the, from the think tank. Just go Google it, okay? Uh, the government pays for the rent. The government pays for the food stamps, $300 per child. And the check that they get from the government uh, pays for their cell phone and the car payment. So the government is taking care of their butts. From start to finish, paying for the housing, the food, cell phone, and car payment. Okay, so all they have to do is the women. All they have to do is uh, go work under the table in the restaurant or in the laundromat somewhere. Okay, they clean re uh, laundromats and restaurants. They are paid cash. This money is not reportable ever. Okay, ever. Okay, so that is a pretty good life. So <laughs> why not come here, y'all? Okay. Number three, smuggling. They're some of the best in the world. They smuggle contraband, workers, and prostitution. <laughs> Dale Donald Trump then, huh? Okay. 
housing. There's two types of housing. There's government pays, the type that government pays for the housing, and they and the house that they buy. Okay. Uh, now the government pays for housing, but it's not it's not called Section Eight. I guess it's just called well, the government will debit, will give you uh, will pay ninety to one hundred percent of the rent. So all they have to pay is. If the rent is nine hundred dollars a month, the government pays eight hundred and ninety. All they have to pay is ten dollars. Plus, they get the welfare thing. Uh, now, this is only for illegals and refugees. It does not work for poor American citizens. Poor American citizens are relegated to Section Eight, which, in that case of Section Eight, um, they're cutting anyway. So, American citizens really aren't getting anything. Okay. If they buy a house, uh, how they get loans without a social security number, without a credit check, I don't know. But they do. Uh, sometimes they pay cash for the house. Um, sometimes they use their children who were born in the United States, their social security number, to get a loan. Um, like I said, uh, they do buy houses without a social security number, without a credit check. Don't know how they do it, but they do. And some of them get it from loan sharks. Some of them get it from traditional banks. All these traditional conservative banks out here, they give them loans. Now, as an aside, the United States can probably stop 90% of the abuse of its own system. They can uh, get rid of welfare because uh, they should not be able to get welfare if they're not even legal into the country. That makes no sense to get welfare if they're not even legal into the country. Um, why the bank loans want to take that risk, I don't know, but they do. Now, if a black man wants $4,000 to expand their business, they get the third degree from the bank. How much collateral do you have? What is your proof of income for the last three years? On and on and on. Now, let's talk about welfare for a minute. The welfare chiefs. That's how the black women, those welfare queens got in trouble. But illegals do that now far and wide. Okay? They would tell social services anything. They have three children, four children, five children. Okay, so therefore they're going to get $300 per child in food stamps. Okay, and now in the 1970s, if you tell social, social services uh, that you have three children, I thought that you really had to uh, give them the birth certificates of each child, but I doubt that they have to do that now. Uh, a man, an illegal man can go right into social services and get anything. They can get housing and and uh, food stamps very quickly. Um, they double dip. In other words, if they, they get welfare benefits in Tennessee and go across the board and get welfare benefits in North Carolina. And Tennessee, state A, for example, is going to give them housing, welfare, and a check. They go to North Carolina, they're going to get the same thing, housing, welfare, and a check. That's state B. So the government is paying for the house or the apartment in in state A and for the housing and apartment in state B. Okay, plus they're getting food stamps from both states. They're going to save all that money because the government's paying 90% of the rent. The government's, they're going to save all that money. Next thing you know, they have enough for a down payment on the house or cash for a house. Okay. Now, a lot of them live some worse. They get benefits in state A and live in state B. That is well for cheating, but, you know, look, everybody does it. They all do it. So why shouldn't they keep on doing it? The government is usually going to pay for two cars and two apartments. So that's what five uh, illegal things the illegals do. Uh, the car license, how they get one, I don't know. They work under the table, smuggling, housing. They cheat in housing. Uh, that's four. And they cheat buying a house, okay? Uh, the fifth one is like the welfare cheats. Now, like I said, the government allows this to go on uh, to the tune of a trillion dollars in welfare benefits for illegals alone. And I, I guess this is going to continue until the government's gone bankrupt, which it already is. Have a nice day, y'all.